Okay, Ayush, you were asking a question here. This is from the assignment. So in this figure, battery 1 has an EMF E1 equals 12.0 volts. Internal resistance R1 is 0 0.016 ohms. The battery 2 has an EMF of E2 equals 12.0 volts. And the internal resistance R2 is equal to 0 0.012 ohms. The batteries are connected as shown in series. And there's an external resistance R also. And we have to find the value of R which makes the terminal to terminal potential difference of one of the batteries zero. So obviously both won't become zero. We need to also therefore de determine which is the battery that is going to have its terminal to terminal potential difference zero. So first we start with uh, Kirchhoff's loop rule. And we start at this bottom left of the circuit and go in the clockwise direction. So we have E2 minus IR2, which is the terminal potential difference for the for, uh, second battery, plus E1 minus IR1, which is the terminal potential difference for the first battery, and then minus IR, which is the potential drop across the resistor. And that should be equal to zero because you come back to the same point. So moving things around, we get I is equal to E1 plus E2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R which then gives us that R is equal to E1 plus E2 by I minus R1 minus R2. And we'll keep that for later. Now for battery 1, the terminal uh, voltage is V1 equals E1 minus IR1, as I mentioned earlier. And that plugging in the values is 12 minus 0 0.016 I. For battery 2, similarly, we get V2 is equal to E2 minus IR2. And plugging in the values, we get 12 minus 0.012i. Now comparing these two expressions, 12 minus 0.016i and 12 minus 0.012i, it's clear that V1 will become 0. Since if V2 becomes 0, V1 will turn out to be negative. And if V1 is turning out to be negative, that implies that battery 1 is being charged. And you can see that that is not the case here. So putting V1 equals to 0, we get I equals 12 by 0 0.016, which is 750 amperes. And now plugging that into the original equation, which expression we got for R, R equals E1 plus E2 by I minus R1 minus R2, what I, we finally get is 0 0.004 ohms.